hello friends welcome to our channel today we are going to discuss that how we can locate the position of an element in a periodic table using a electronic configuration there are seven periods and 18 groups in a periodic table there are seven periods and 18 groups present alongside we are having the lanthanides and the actinides so to predict the period block and group to which a particular element belongs we have to just use the guidelines i'm just going i'm just going to list over here first we are having suppose we are having the configuration if a teacher gives you gives you that we are having the configuration of 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 then we are having the 4s2 so how we can predict so I uh, here this last here the last electron has been filled in 4s subshell or orbital the element belongs to s block so this will represent the so we can say the the config the configuration the element for which this configuration is written is belongs to s block and this s block is having period number 4 similarly only one valence electrons in the s subshell so element belongs to so here we are having the two so element belongs to second group this one is the way of finding the period group and the block so what about the p block elements when we talk about the p block elements the group number this one is for the s we have just discussed the s block over here when we are having the p block elements the group number the group number is equals to 10 plus number of we have to just add number of ns plus np electrons for example we are having the krypton krypton is having the atomic number 36 if we just write the electronic configuration what we find we will find as 1s2, 2s2, 2. These are the valence electrons. So here the last electron has been filled in P subshell. In P subshell or orbital, the element belongs to P block. as there are valence s subshell and p subshell we have to just add it up so overall becomes 6 plus 2 it becomes 8 and we have to add 10 along with it so 10 plus 8 so the element belongs to the 18 group this one is the way of finding the for the p block for the s block we have to just look out for the valence electron and the number of electrons present in an orbital in the s subshell if there is a single electron so it belongs to the first group otherwise it belongs to the second group similarly we are having the p block for p block we have to just look out for the for p block we have to just look out for the we have to just add total number of ns and np electrons and we have to just add 10 along with it so for d block the group number for finding the elements belongs to d block suppose we are having the element yttrium having the atomic number 39 we are having the yttrium so what is its configuration we will write configuration as
so in this we have to just for d block we have to total number of we have to the group number belongs to is equal to the number of n minus 1 d plus n s electrons this is the way of finding the d block so overall over here we are having the but we will write n minus 1 d plus n s here n minus 1 we are having the n s n s 2 plus here n minus 1 5 5 minus 1 we are having the 4 so n minus 1 d electrons we are having the 1 so we say it belongs to the third group of d block so for f block elements for f block elements so what we need to do is we have it, it is always having group number 3 group number 3 this is way of finding or predicting locating the period block period block group elements in an periodic table thank you for the lecture